Tree crickets are back in numbers, after nine mostly silent years. Emerging from their nymph case, adult cicada climb to the tree canopy and the noise begins. For us, it starts off as a background drone, reaching us from the bush. But they are soon on the wing and attest the trees around our place. Only the male cicada buzz, which is probably a good thing, as otherwise it would be twice as much noise. On its own, one makes enough noise. But when tens or hundreds of them combine, the cacophony can be deafening. Mostly, the noise is a constant drone. But occasionally, they become orchestrated, and the result is a pulsing sound. This is the one that can get to you. I fondly remember a family who spent their daylight hours between industrial strength earmuffs and another young lady who with a bag under one arm and a baby under another went home to mum for the duration. The most common cicada we have is the one called the masked devil, aptly named because of its markings. With the odd greengrocer in the mix, these are colour variations of the same tribe of cicada. Being a large insect, some of their bits are easily seen, like their nifty dented nose and two large purple compound eyes. What looks like three LED lights and what might be called their furrow are simple eyes. That gizmo between the legs is a rostrum, which is used to pierce the bark of the host tree through which the sap is removed. Mostly impossible to see in the tree canopy, they only live for a few weeks and at the end of their time can be found desperately clinging to the base of the trees in a weakened state. Their remains are soon scavenged, leaving the inedible wings scattered about. The cicada are heavily predated by crows and magpies, but enough survive to mate and lay eggs from which the hatched nymph fall to the ground and dig in, ready to emerge en masse in the future, and so keep the cycle going.